Hey, what's up guys? It's Epic Lino with you guys again and today we're gonna go through two new heroes which is Luluka and also Fallen Cecilia. Uh, at the same time, I'll give you some recommended builds for them uh, and the reasons why I might think that they are best built that way. Okay, first up, let's look at Luluka. So you can see that her attack is actually relatively high, her speed is kinda low. Her defense is actually on the high side, so yeah, just take note of those. Okay, uh, her skills. What she does is she increases damage proportional to the enemy's lost health. So in other words, her damage increases as the enemy's HP goes down. And then for the S2 will be a barrier and defense up, uh, where the barrier strength is in. Uh, proportional to the caster's attack so that means Luluka's attack so you definitely want to have a decent amount of attack on her and then next up will be Wave of Vengeance which is a, a chance to decrease defense for 75% at max and the damage dealt for this skill increases 3 times but as for the rate of increment I'm not too sure yet the damage does increase but uh, I do need to look at the data mine stats for that but I won't go through that here uh, I think there'll be other people who will be going through that instead so what is my recommended build for her definitely definitely you want her to have speed I'm not too sure about how the AI will go um, if she does go on you know S2 first then you might want her to be extremely fast if not, you can make her be a sub buff, so like uh, a turn 2 buff, in other words, and use the S3 uh, for when you're going for a cleave team setup for your arena, let's say. If you're going for a... Hmm. If you're going for a turn 2, then you will go for the S2 instead. Unless you're using someone like Crow, then you probably won't need the S2 at all. Okay, so depending on how her AI will go, if, you're, if her AI goes with uh, S3 first, you definitely don't want to put her on a arena defense. And if her AI goes with S2 first, then she is actually a viable character for arena defense. Uh, as for her overall, She's actually generally very good in PvE, in my opinion, because defense down always helps for PvE, 75% chance is uh, decent, honestly. Uh, the shield and also the defense up will definitely increase the survivability of your heroes. And also for the S1, uh, her damage will increase as you hit the boss. Okay, as for the stats, how would you want to have her? Um, generally, her defense is honestly quite high, so I would say just skip the defense, build on the on the health and the attack. So if you can stack up to two thousand attack, that will be perfectly fine. Uh, getting some, uh, getting a good amount of crit and crit damage will also be good. A uh, general rule of thumb will be two hundred crit damage. As for the crit chance, uh, get as much as you can. Uh, the HP try to touch 10,000 because she is viable for are uh, arena, yes. So you want to her, you want her to at least have 10,000 uh, HP. Okay, let's take a look at Cecilia. Okay, so for Cecilia, what we see here, let's take a look. She has quite a wow. Her defense is actually quite. Not too bad actually, and also her health is generally very good as well. The attack is a bit on the low side, the speed is on the low side as well, but it's above 100, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Because uh, for some tanks, for healers, let's say, uh, they do go below 100, and that is quite worrying. Okay, let's take a look at the skills. S1. Provoke up to 100%, which is very nice. Damage is proportional to max HP. Uh, the S2 is a barrier 2 turns for all allies. Did I read that right? To all allies at the beginning of the battle, 
Damn, son. Damn. Okay, that's actually pretty damn good. Uh, Grants barrier for two turns to the ally with the lowest HP. So basically, just stacks. Um, then barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's max HP. In other words, Cecilia's max HP. So S3 will be a skill nullifier to all allies, negating one damage for the next skill that uh, hits you. And also the damage is proportional to the caster's max health. Okay. Wow. That's actually quite amazing. Mm. Honestly, you just want her to be extremely fast. Because, take a look at this. Her health is not very low, so in other words, the barrier that she puts up will definitely not be very low either. So if you can, you know, kind of get like 200 speed or so, or maybe higher, if you guys can do that, then you're, how do you say, you're, you're going to increase the, the survivability of all your characters, or your characters in general, like, by a lot, because... You're gonna have like unlimited supply of barrier just because you guys are fast. Just because she is fast. So basically you wanna stack a lot of HP, a lot of speed. If you can get the if you have the luxury to, you know, add on to effect resistance, then please do so. If you guys have the the greater luxury to add on to effect resistance and effectiveness then please do so because the effectiveness do help with the provoke and 100% provoke chance is definitely 1000% annoying okay so like I said um, speed and health for her this is kind of uh, arena is just gonna be like a lot worse than it already is you're gonna see like Phone Cecilia, uh, Bal Cezanne, and also Araminta. Oh my god. And Dizzy. Uh, Arena couldn't have been worse. Okay, I'm not too sure what the meta will be. The meta will probably be what I just mentioned. But yeah. Hopefully, there's a counter to this. Hopefully. If there's no counter, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people will quit. But all in all, I wish you guys the best on getting the 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 Fallen Cecilia. I didn't get Araminta or Ball and Suzanne. So yeah. Hopefully I get this one like you know for once. I'm you know not really expecting anything at all. But yeah, wish me all the best. And at the same time wish you guys all the best and cheers, peace out.